I'm very excited to tell you about a brand new course coming out this weekend called Target Tones. This is a concept I've known about for years and I've been wanting to share this in a course on my online guitar school uh, since we started and it's finally here. It's not a long course but it's a really important concept to help you play through chord changes. Chord changes are elusive at the best of times for most players. I want to show you a method which has helped me enormously and actually you'll, you know, if you're awake you'll hear exactly what I do because it's my little secret that I've had for years, my secret weapon that I use to get to chord changes on time and I want to pass it along to you so you can learn it too. It really helps you to get to the chords with a specific note in mind from uh, your choices from the scales. It really helps you understand your fretboard in a brand new way, looking at, at it in a brand new way. And I know this concept works because I use it all the time. And once you know it, you're gonna hear me using it and you're gonna go, aha, I'm on to you now, Frank. Anyway, I'm really excited to share this with you. It's coming out now, Target Tones. Look for it at www.frankgambaleonlineguitarschool.com See you there. Hi everybody, Frank Gambale here and today I want to present a really great topic which was enormously helpful to me and it's something I practiced a lot and actually if you're a keen listener to my playing you'll hear me doing it all the time. It's something that has just been uh, that I've adopted and I find it incredibly useful and that's a thing called target tones. Uh, by tone I mean note. So basically it's a target note. That means it's a note I'm going to shoot for and I, uh, it's a note that I want to be the first note of the chord change. This helped me get through chord changes very well. It helped me have a focus to where I wanted to reach as soon as a, a new chord appeared, right? So that's the essence of target tones. Now I'm going to show you which tones we're going to target. We're going to target all the notes of the scale actually. Now the rest I'm going to do really quickly, okay? So you'll be able to <laughs> check to see if these are right or not. Here on E minor, the ninth, we're going to target ninths now. Ninth is F sharp. Here on G minor it's an A. On B flat major 7, it's a C. B minor 7 flat 5, we're going to use a natural 9, which is C sharp. In a Dorian, E minor 7, the 13th is a C sharp. G minor, the 13th is an E. A B G. flat. So those are going to be all our target tones. What we've done is we've done each of the notes of the scale in thirds, which follow the chord tones upward to the upper extensions. And we're going to learn how each one of these sounds, we're going to target them. First note on every chord as it changes will be the target tone that we determine. And I'm going to play it for you and check it out on the accompanying video. This concept really helped me a lot and I'm absolutely confident it's going to be great for you too. So practice it. It's a fantastic idea, okay? Okay, hi folks. Now we're going to do the um, musical portion of the Target Tones uh, video. Uh, we did all the work on the board and we did all the analysis for each of the chords of this given progression, 500 miles high. And so now I'm going to play this for you so I'll give you the musical example of how I would practice this to get each and every chord tone uh, Every time I get to the next chord, I'm going to play that particular target tone. I'm going to play... Okay, so here's our chord progression. Let's just do one time round as a warm-up. Just playing the chords. B flat major 7. B minor 7 flat 5. E 
seven sharp nine, A minor. F sharp minor seven flat five. F minor seven. Into C minor seven. And then B seven altered. Now let's get ready for the roots. Roots aren't terribly interesting, but let's learn them anyway. This next time through, I'm just going to play freely. Now, one thing I want you to really pay attention to is where I phrase. I always play a phrase on the chord, and if there's two bars, I wait a little space, and then I go from the second bar of the chord into the next chord, targeting the target tone. Now, this is a really important way to phrase because it really shows that you know what you're doing, right? Now, check it out. <clears throat> play freely. Now I'm playing into the next one. Again. Here. Into the next chord. Into the next chord. Anticipating the chord a little bit. Next chord. So, practicing target tones is absolutely vital. Practice each one as I did before as an exercise where you play the same target tone on each chord and then start to mix them, mix them up. And you'll find there's particular ones that you like more than others. You might like a ninth. On minor chords, you might like the 11th on minor 7 flat 5 chords. You might like the sharp 11 on major 7 chords. You know, you do this, and this helps you, you know, not only get to the chord on time, you see how it's phrasing and actually pointing to a target tone each time I went through the chords. This is a great way to help you get through chord progressions. Okay, Frank and Bali here. I'm going to do another version of this chord progression and this time I'm going to do it for the more advanced players who want something to really dig their teeth into. Uh, this will be a transcribed solo and, um, and I'm going to play absolutely freely and uh, it'll be all a lot of good stuff in there. So here it is coming at you and uh, make sure you pay attention to all the target tone ideas, uh, but I'm going to be improvising completely freely. Okay, coming around to the top of it. the top. <laughs> 